When the Dajjal comes out, he doesn't call himself an Imam. You know what he calls himself? He calls himself Prophet Isa السلام, himself. He calls himself Prophet Isa. The Dajjal calls himself, I am Prophet Isa. But he's lying. Listen to what the Prophet وسلم, said. He said, one night, one night, he was going to Nisra al Ma'raj. He says, he took me in front of the Kaaba. And then after I finished, I looked, on, I looked to my right or left. And I see a young man. His hair is nice and long. It comes up to his shoulders. It's neither too straight nor too wavy. And it looks like water is on it, but it doesn't really have water. So it's got really beautiful, silky, shiny hair. And his face, his features is dark, Adami, which means he's got a dark features. And he had two people with him that he was putting his hands on their shoulders. And I liked the way he looked. So I asked Jibreel, who is that? And Jibreel said, that is your brother, Isa alayhi salam. Isa ibn Maryam, the real Isa. He goes, then I looked to the other side and I saw another young man. And this young man, he was one of the biggest sizes that I've ever seen. He wasn't tall, but he was just big. And his hair was very coarse, very rough hair, right? And one of his eyes, the right eye, it was bulging like a grape, you know, the inside. It's like a sultana. It, he can't see from it. And the left eye also looks unusual. It's got like a piece of meat under it and it doesn't look normal. I think he even has a different color, but he can see from it. So both his eyes are deformed. They don't look normal. But one, the right eye can't see from it. The left eye can see from it. The one with the deformed eyes. It doesn't necessarily mean the one eyed Dajjal. 1,400 years ago, the Prophet peace be upon him said, the Dajjal from the time of Adam, Adam alayhi salam, till the end of time, from the time of Adam, till the end of time, this entire world. He said, there is no bigger trial, fitna, than the trial of Dajjal. All the way from Adam alayhi salam time to the end of time, everything that's happened in the world, Dajjal is the biggest trial that's going to come to the people. And he had two people and he was, uh, you know, leaning on their shoulder. And the Prophet sallam, said, Oh Jibreel, who is that? And he said, that is Al-Masih Al-Dajjal. In another hadith, he actually said something else. said, Isa ibn Maryam is Al-Masih Al-Sadiq, which means the Masih, which means the Messiah, but he is the truthful Messiah. And then he turned to the actual Dajjal and he said, that's the, he's also the Messiah, he said Messiah, but he is the lying Messiah. So, when the Dajjal comes out, the world is ready for him. Now check this out. He said that he will come out from a place called Asbahan, or Asfahan today we call it, Asbahan, which is now today in Iran. And he said that he will come out with 70 Jewish people following him. It doesn't mean that right now the Iranians are going to follow him or that the Jews of Iran. It could mean that the place where Jews used to live in that time, from that place, 70 people will follow him. Because another hadith, Prophet ﷺ said to us, that the majority of the people of the world will follow him and believe him. And he said, among them are the Jews. Number two, he said Al-Ajam. Al-Ajam means the foreigners and usually it means the Romans. So most of the Christians will follow him. And then he said, and a mixture of people, a mixture of different people. Among them are the uneducated nomad people, desert people who don't have much education. And subhanAllah, I'm just quoting the hadith, he said, and also a lot of women will follow him.